Hi, this video lecture we are going to discuss about contextual tools. So contextual tools are the web version of right click menus. So in the desktop applications like MS Office or PowerPoint, whatever application you take in the desktop, you can find an option like right click and uh, where you can have some options like uh, uh, cut, restore, like that you have some menus right click menus so that type of menus you can also create for a web application that is what we say it as contextual tools so instead of having a right click menu you can have some uh, contextual menu uh, tools where you can perform all that sort of operations so to achieve the contextual tools there are different ways one is always visible tools other one hover reveal tool third one toggle reveal tool fourth one multi-level tool and fifth one secondary menus so when i say always visible so here you are going to place the context directly in the content okay so we will see this is one example here there is uh a website called dig dig is an example which uses the always visible tool so all the items or all the context is made visible all the time so you can just click and you can perform the operation and all the menus are visible once the page is loaded okay so directly when you move your mouse over that particular label, your mouse but will be enabled. You can see a difference in the pointer, uh, mouse pointer, which shows that it is interactable. So you can click and you can move on to the next page. So this is always visible. Okay. Then second one is power reveal tool. So, when you move the mouse over the particular content or context, at that time, you can see that whether that particular uh, context is clickable or not. Or it on moving the mouse over the context, it will reveal what are all the operations that can be performed. Okay. So, this is making the tools visible only on demand so the demand may be like when you move the mouse over the object it will reveal what are all the operations that can be performed then next is toggle reveal tool this is like it is uh, when you can when you can click or make uh, some changes is when uh, a special mode is set on the particular page. You can look at the example here. So there are some menus like categories, all files, documents, etc. Here are some list of menus. Okay. So when you move the mouse over the particular link, so it will show you it has it has been designed in such a way that you have an option called edit. So when you click on this edit category, only then you can be able to make some changes. This categories will be into a editable mode. So when after clicking on this edit, you can find all the menus or all the menu items which is displayed under the categories are now editable. So this is one example for toggle reveal. Once you click on this, then all the contextual tools will be enabled. This is toggle reveal tool. Then the fourth one is multi-level tool. This is like the tools will be revealed progressively with multiple level. Uh, an example for this is songs up. So there are four, op this is an app which helps you to play songs. So there are four options like play, you can add some items to the playlist, you can rate the app, you can share the songs. So these are all some options available with the uh, songs app. 
and this will be revealed only when you click on the particular song. You can see the example here. This is a songs app. So by clicking on the song uh, word, then you can search it. So at that time, you can the you can see when you click the mouse. There is a leaf style menu. Here you have, you can play the song, you can rate the song, you can share the song. So after, this is the normal state, you are entering the input and after you click using your mouse, the contextual tools is activated. You can see the contextual tools. So this is hover reveal tool. Then the fourth one is secondary, uh, sorry, the fifth contextual tool is secondary menu. This is like a normal in desktop application, how you have a right click menu. Here also in the web applications, you can have a right click menu, which we say it as secondary menus. So Google map is an example application, which uses the secondary menu that can be activated okay when you wanted to show some additional routes between the source and the destination in that case you can use the secondary menu so these are the uh, five different contextual tools which can be used for the applications one is uh, always visible second one is toggle reveal hover reveal then uh, secondary menu and multi-level tools.